the Nestinarstvu, fire dancing, has been practiced in the Stranja area since time immemorial. It's been preserved as part of the traditional culture and practice of the Panagir, or festival in honor of the patron saints Konstantin and Elena. The Panagirs are major village-wide festivals, ensuring the well-being and fertility of the village, while the Nestinari are spiritual and physical leaders of the ritual act, through whom the saints express their will and orders. Every June 3rd, the people of the village of Bulgari dressing their best for the festival. Around 8.30 a.m., the priest consecrates the Kunak, the chapel of St. Constantine, housing the Stonina, a small iconostasis with a shelf, where the sacred icons of St. Constantine and St. Elena are kept, the sacred drum used only in this ritual, and the kurban, the sacrifice of an animal, nowadays a white sheep, that is an odd number of years old. The people of Stranja have preserved pagan beliefs about the Kurban. They believe Saint Constantine doesn't want meat but blood, and that's why sacrificial animals are slaughtered for Kurban. At 9 a.m., the Epitropos, the person organizing the whole ritual, a respected person from an old Nestinar family, and the icon bearers, accompanied by the drum and bagpipes, set off for the church to take the icons, called kumizni, which are nowadays kept in the village church. A festive liturgy is conducted in honor of the patron saints. The icons are ceremoniously handed over to the icon bearers and the procession returns to the kunak, where they perform in complete silence the premenuvane, or dressing up, of the icons in new festive shirts decorated with silver coins and ornaments. The Nestinar icons represent Saint Constantine and Saint Elena with the cross. They are made from a whole piece of wood and covered with a long sleeve called tail. Emerging from the chapel, the Nestinarka dances for a short while, then the procession stops and everybody turns to face the sun before the beginning of the offering of gifts to the saints. The funds collected in this manner will help organize and conduct the custom the following year. The people in the procession are in the following order. The Epitropus, the musicians, the icon bearers, the Nestinari, local residents and guests at the festival. They head for the Ayazmo. with holy water, above which there is a small chapel of St. Constantine. There the icons are placed on the so-called odurce, literally small plank bed, 
a wooden platform with a parapet on which the stonina is placed to rest, as they say. The Nestinari, headed by the chief Nestinarca, get seated. The Epitropos washes the icons with holy water from the Ayasmo and hands out holy water and candles to everybody for help. Then they light the candles and leave money for the water and the candles. They dance for a chain dance, accompanied by the musicians. The last dance is that of the Nestinari. Everybody present takes part in it, Nestinari, residents and guests of the village. Around noon, they go back to the village. The lighting of the ritual fire begins around 4 p.m. Live music is played in the village from 5 p.m. to around 9.30 p.m. when the actual ritual of the Nestinari begins. Setting out from the Konak once again, the procession goes around the church three times and then three times around the burning embers which have already been spread out on the ground. The melody played by the musicians at that moment is called Natrgvane or on leaving, led by the sacred drum the people silently form a circle around the embers. To the sound of the Nestinarsko Foro melody, the Nestinari begin working themselves up to enter the circle of embers. This moment is called Prihvashtane, or possession, a peculiar ecstatic state that helps them pass through the embers. The Nestinari's blood rushes to their heads, their facial expression changes, they become tense, they begin trembling, their limbs turn cold or frost over, as they say, and falling into trance, possession, they rush into the circle of embers with the specific Nestinar cries of Vah, Vah. The actual treating on, trampling out of the embers, lasts about 15 minutes. The Nestinari who hold the icon of Saint Constantine and Saint Elena go crosswise over the embers three times, once at a time, passing each other in opposite directions. It is believed that the more times they trample out the embers, the better the year will be for the village. Emerging from the fire, the Nestinari lead a chain dance around the fire which everyone must join in for health. After the end of the fire dance, everyone goes to the Kunak, where they partake of the by then ready kurban or sacrificial meal. The Nestinari and Nestinarstvo have the following distinctive features. Contact with the saint, in a state of trance or the so-called prihvashtane, possession prophecies and predictions of community-wide importance about the fate of the village or the country, treading on trampling out embers. In more recent times, it's been believed that the trampling out of the embers to ashes would rid off all diseases and evil the village and redeem the sins of all. This specific element of trampling out categorically distinguishes the Nestinarstvo from the various forms of fire walking, passing across embers in the rest of the world. This is the distinctive feature of the Nestinarstvo. Today, Bulgari is the only Stranja village where the tradition of Nestinar fire dancing and the Panagir of Saint Constantine and Saint Elena has never been interrupted.